Welcome to TechStep. In this episode, we're going to look at how to install a web server. Um, we're going to install Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP, which is known as a LAMP stack. And uh, Linux stand, or the L stands for, for Linux, the A for Apache, the M for MySQL, or MariaDB. Um, and then, of course, the P for PHP. So um, let's, uh, let's get started. We're going to log into our, uh, our web server remotely here using SSH. So that, that the prerequisite here is, of course, that you've got a new Ubuntu server already built and installed, and that you've uh, installed SSH unless you have access to the console, in which case you can just log in directly. Um, so let's go ahead and get logged in. Pass my password. All right, I'm logged into my web server. I can see that here now my username has changed. So my username was Aaron Home PC, and now my username is administrator at web server. So we're now on our web server and we can start to do some of our commands. I'm just gonna get us started here a little bit uh, ahead of the game with uh, some updates. So let's go ahead and uh, update our web server. We're gonna check and make sure that uh, there are updates available. And then we're going to uh, we're going to run the uh, the upgrade command and uh, upgrade the packages that uh, have upgrades pending. So let's go ahead and uh, run that here as soon as this finishes updating. All right, let's run our upgrade. And we got any packages? Yes. So we're going to go ahead and update these. All right. Well, that's upgrading. Um, I guess uh, one thing to mention here is that you you can install either PHP or sorry MySQL or MariaDB for your database. Um, the difference really being that uh, MariaDB is is a little more open source and uh, MySQL um, in its enterprise edition is less open source, but it does uh, it does offer uh, a little bit more uh, functionality. Um, um, just for example, um, you, you can uh, with with MySQL you're able to uh, to support uh, things like data masking and dynamic columns, whereas Mar MariaDB doesn't support that. Okay, so uh, we've got ourselves updated and patched here. So let's go ahead and install our LAMP server. So the command for this is sudo apt-get install Apache2 PHP MariaDB dash server. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and run that. All right, 209 megabytes, we're going to say yes. Go ahead and install it. All right, and uh, while that's installing, I'm just going to mention that uh, the, the primary target for this video are, are people starting out and wanting to, uh, to build their own dev environment or development environment. So again, accessing this from the, the internet or the, the World Wide Web uh, requires a little bit more uh, configuration. Um, you'll need to address things like DNS and firewalls. Um, and then, you know, a more advanced user may also wish to, uh, as opposed to using the method we are here with subfolders for different websites, um, a more advanced user might uh, configure the virtual host file in Apache and set up DNS so that uh, different web server or website names like uh, test.com or myserver.com as we create them, um, when we type them into our web browser will resolve um, to wherever our server may be and then our server will point um, those names to those web roots and return those uh, those web web roots or documents within those web roots. Okay, so our uh, our system's almost done uh, with uh, with Apache here. And just doing some configurations for PHP. All right, and setting up MariaDB. That's our database. So we've got uh, we've got our web server installed and configured. Our uh, Scripting language, which is PHP, installed and configured, and we're just uh, the last little piece here is our uh, SQL database. All right, and once these have finished installing, we're just going to run a couple of quick commands to make sure that we were successful in uh, installing these. So um, we're going to verify uh, MySQL first, and um, it's fairly straightforward. So these commands um, you can you can just follow along in your in your browser after this uh, completes. In your browser, so the uh, the first command we're going to want to run is uh, really simple. It's uh, sudo mysql. Now we're in the mysql database. We can see that it's working, so we can just type exit and semicolon completes our command, and we are out of the mysql database. Now there's some configuration and some tools you can use to access your mysql database. Keep an eye out for our video on uh, PHP MyAdmin. 
All right, so we know our MySQL database is installed and working. Let's see if our web server is installed and working as well. So the command to check that, sudo, da, a sudo apache2 v, and look at that, apache's there, built, it's working. How about our scripting language, PHP? The command for that is sudo php v, and look, we can see that that is installed and working. Fantastic. Our, our, our last step is we want to see if our document shows in a web browser. So we're going to go into our web browser and we're going to take a look. So let's go to our web server, HTTP colon slash slash. I have DNS set up here so that my server can be identified by its name. But if, uh, if you don't, your IP will work just as well here. All right, so let's go have a look. And there is my document root for Apache. So that seems to be working quite well. A um, couple other things to mention: um, you can um, you can enable um, other web roots within the um, the HTML folder, um, and uh, watch for our follow up video to that on how to do that. Um, we'll, in our follow up video, we'll create two folders: one called WordPress and one called Joomla, and we'll go over setting up uh, some permissions and and how to access those. Um, but uh, for, for the purpose of this video, we have installed our web server, our core components being our scripting language, uh, Apache for the web server itself, and uh, our SQL database. That uh, pretty much concludes our video for uh, this uh, session. Uh, please, if you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like or subscribe and subscribe and uh, watch for our follow-up video. Thanks for watching.